Hey guys, my friend Lynn and I had conference meetings by Louisville, Kentucky, but we took the time to make a few stops, as you can see along the way, to find some pickin' deals. So, I have to just show you this haul really quick. So, one thing I wanna say is don't rule out antique malls whenever you're sourcing, because some dealers are going out of business, or they're moving, or they're just getting rid of inventory. So, one of the good finds was all these I don't know if you can see them here, all these boxed train parts. Like this one here says it was $10.95 originally. They had $1.50 on them in the original box with 20% off. So I mean, they are super, super cool. Never even put together yet. So these will all go on eBay, but I mean, a whole bag of them. This is like 300 bucks worth of stuff. So this whole bag from there. This was at a outdoor flea market. We got some old beer cans when they used to have these wonderful welds. Can you imagine drinking out of that? And who knows what you were actually getting. And I think they were like three for a dollar, those cans. So those will probably, I don't know if they'll go on eBay or not. This is made in Italy, a buck fifty for that. So more train parts as you can see here. Um, this really cool vintage sharpener in really good condition, $1.99. Oh my gosh, check this out. $2.99. I mean, this sucker is heavy. I mean, I bet it weighs 30 pounds at least. Um, vintage Christmas, $1.99 in the original box. We got cute little Fenton shoes, no chips or cracks, five bucks. Now those are at the antique mall also, but we'll, there's two of them. We'll be able to put those on eBay or sell them in the antique mall. And then this is a bunch of like stones that we got. They do really well in our antique mall. We put some online, but they do better in the store. Um, this is like a marble egg. Um, and there's a whole bunch of that kind of stuff in there. And more stones. Oh, I'll finish that last. This. The more stones. Look at that huge rose quartz. Beautiful, beautiful. A whole bunch of stones we got because they do really well here. Check this out. It was, I think, two and a quarter. It's brand new, never opened. Uh, we already put that on eBay for like 20 bucks, I think. 20 or 24, something like that. Um, all kinds of little goodies. We always need these little um, plate stands. Cute little figurines. Vintage toy, 80 cents. You know, we'll probably put this on eBay. Um, I'm not sure we have to do the research, but they usually do really well for us when we do find those. And then, let's see, what is this? Oh, a bunch of more stones. This whole bag is. And just, let me see, this, oh, this chap's purse. It like, it's so clean. It looks like it was never even used. I think it was like $2. Um, a false craft vase, it was $1.99. I mean, Falls Craft does really well in our antique mall. This vintage little kids Fisher Price stove. Fisher Price stuff always does well for us. Um, and I remember this from when I was a kid, so I think it's from the 70s. But one dollar, guys. And then we got this whole bag. Now, this and this was from Goodwill. These figurines were $2.99. And we do really well with figurines on eBay. So we're going to put those online more stones we got lots and lots of stones more stones and then more handbags now these came from um goodwill i mean they looked immaculate like they weren't even ever used um they were $3.99 each and this looks like a more of a vintage black leather $3.99 there's we got several of them and then check this out from there also all these brand new golf club balls. 
they were a dollar a box. So we'll probably put those on eBay. And we got this brand new Callaway for $6.99 full of golf balls. So we'll put that on um, eBay as well. It's just, we did so good between the flea market. This is a, a silver vintage uh, butter dish. They always do good in the antique mall and we're gonna try it online. This old vintage radio for $1.99. $3.99 and I don't know what it's made of but it's super cute. This kind of stuff always does good in the antique mall. We'll try it probably on eBay as well. And then hats have been doing really well for us lately. This is a buck seventy-nine. Picky cutters for 99 cents. We'll probably sell them as a lot. And check out the cabbage patch figurine. A dollar. I mean these are from the 80s. See 85 but these always do great. They usually sell for like around 24 bucks. So that was a great find. We'll probably put that on eBay. Um, and then here's another little Easter Bunny one, and that was 99 cents as well. So we have luck with these little Cabbage Patch guys for sure. So then there's more train stuff in the back seat I don't have time for, but check out this really cool Mickey Mouse bag. Brand new with the tags, a dollar. Can you believe it? Um, at the thrift store. And then we had some Vera Bradley wallets that were a dollar each. These really do well in our antique mall. So, and then this really old book, The Struggle for American Independence, it was a dollar. And these really old books do really well for us um, online and in the antique mall. Um, just try to see. 1908. So, and it's not like a, a reproduction or a re, re release, I think they call it. And then this one here also, a dollar. I mean, it's a little bit worn, but people that are into this stuff, you know, they still love these old books. And this one was from 1898. So, considering the age, this is in immaculate condition. Um, check out this little fishing rod clock a buck. So in our antique mall, nautical and fishing stuff does really well, so we'll put it in there. And then, does anybody remember these? They're from like the 70s. Peanuts, lightly salted and dry. So this is my overhaul, guys. Hope you have a great day.